the Renewable Energy Sector Development Project is underway. The RESTP means a lot to you and me. The RESTP, let's pursue clean energy. Like many small Caribbean island states, St. Lucia imports fossil fuel to generate electricity, and this accounts for 95% of its energy demand. If St. Lucia had its own means of generating electricity from renewable sources, it would make the country less reliant on imported oil, which is subject to fuel increases due to factors outside of St. Lucia's control, provide stable electricity prices for consumers, provide environmental benefits such as lower carbon emissions and a cleaner environment, which helps St. Lucia fulfill its international agreements to reduce its carbon footprint to combat climate change. Stable prices would make the country more attractive to potential business investors in industries such as agro-processing, tourism, housing and manufacturing. St. Lucia's efforts at exploring its geothermal resource date back to 1951. Since then, seven exploratory wells were drilled in 1974 to 1976 and two production wells in 1986 to 1988. The Geothermal Resource Development Project, undertaken in the mid-2010s, identified the possible existence of a geothermal reservoir away from the Sulphur Springs and the protected Piton management area. Every exploration brings us closer and closer to zeroing in on the most viable source of geothermal energy, and every year the expertise gets better and the technology more efficient. The RESDP is a four-year project launched on November 3, 2022 and is being implemented by a project implementation unit, a project team within the Public Utility Services and Renewable Energy Division, and supported by multiple consultants, key of which is the Exploration Management Consultant, or EMC. The project is being funded by the Clean Technology Fund, the Canadian Clean Energy and Forest Climate Facility, the World Bank, UK Foreign Commonwealth Development Organization, the Government of St. Lucia. The St. Lucia Renewable Energy Sector Development Project, RESDP, will explore the potential resource in order to inform the Government of St. Lucia on whether the country's geothermal resource is suitable for power generation. The project also covers the regulatory environment for private sector investments in the renewable energy sector. The RESDP is divided into two main components. Component 1 is an exploration drilling program, and Component 2 is a technical assistance program. Let us look at Component 1, the exploration drilling program. Scientific studies pointed towards geothermal reserves in Belle Plaine, Belvedere and Saltabus. These are the three communities within which exploratory wells are being drilled. The exploration drilling component has a number of key milestones between contracting the Civil Works contractor by January 2025 and submitting all project reports by September 2026. During the execution of this component, the PIU will monitor any vibrations and seismic activity around the project sites by installation of a seismic monitoring system. Monitoring will begin prior to construction works and will continue after drilling is completed and the sites are restored. A condition survey of all properties in close proximity to the drilling sites is being undertaken to verify any impacts from construction and drilling activities. If any private lands are needed for drilling or exploration, the Government of St. Lucia will negotiate one-on-one -on -one with willing sellers for one acre of land at most to build the well pad to support the exploration drilling in each of the drilling communities. We will not compel anyone to give up their property. 
a material storage area to support drilling activities will be built at the drilling site at Parker State Saltabus. The environmental well-being of the drilling and material storage areas and the social well-being of the communities are very important to us. Therefore, an environmental and social impact assessment of these areas is being conducted. All known potential environmental and social impacts are to be considered and an environmental and social management plan developed which the contractors must follow to prevent or reduce any potential harmful effects of the project on its surroundings. Next, there is the Technical Assistance Program. One major prong of it is regulatory reform that seeks to draft and pass geothermal bill and regulations, energy efficiency regulations, and environmental and social impact assessment regulations. The PMA World Heritage Site status is very important to our country. Thus, the Project Implementation Unit will ensure that all provisions of the Environmental and Social Management Plan are rigorously adhered to in order to preserve the outstanding universal value of the area. Finally, the RESDP offers scholarships and apprenticeships to female students who are desirous of pursuing studies in engineering-related fields at the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College to close the gender gap in this sector. It is vitally important that stakeholders involved and impacted by this project are empowered and engaged at every stage. The RESDP team has made every effort to do so, proactively and regularly, through multiple channels, starting with the grievance redress mechanism, so stakeholders can report their concerns, issues or problems through multiple channels. And we will acknowledge your report within five working days and do all within our power to address your problems as soon as possible up to 30 days if the issue is complex. The RESDP team is also engaging in extensive public education and awareness with consultations in the project-affected communities and satisfaction surveys, as well as updates via social media, a quarterly newsletter, and a comprehensive user-friendly website. The RESDP is a monumental undertaking that is worth the possible rewards it can bring to St. Lucia if a viable source of geothermal energy is discovered. We are grateful to all stakeholders who are putting country first as we take this brave step together. For more information on the project, you can contact us through these channels. We look forward to hearing from and working with you as we pursue energy independence. Energy sector development project is implemented by the Department of Infrastructure, Ports and Transport, funded by the Government of St. Lucia, World Bank, UK Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office, Clean Technology Fund, and the Canada Clean Energy and Forest Climate Facility.